All right, today I'll be showing you how you can use RSI indicator in different way. Novice trader do use the overbought and the oversold area, but today I'll be showing you a different way how you can use the RSI indicator. Let's dive into it right now. All right, let me insert my auxiliator close this okay now let's go into indicator auxiliators then let's go to relative strength index now let's use uh let's use 30 70 uh you can use any of the values either 20 or 80 then okay just you can leave it that way too then the period is 14 uh, this is one hour time frame which is cool now normally novice trader what they do is they they look for an oversold area like this example when when the rsi is below the 30 uh inputs and they enter for buy immediately yeah if you enter for a buy trade immediately yeah, i think this is a loss so instead of doing it that way wait for the rsi to go below the oversold area then allow it to come back let it go above the rsi period uh i think it went back okay rsi period there yeah. then you enter for your buy trade so it's going to save you the stress it's going to save you the stress so you enter for your buy trade here yeah. You enter for your buy trade here now let me show you another example because here you may be thinking wow alex this is a loss don't worry we'll talk about that but i just wanted to show you the best way you know if your entry and your exit is close to 60 percent uh profitability then i think that is the best way you can beat the market let me say that again if your exit and your entry the probability of you winning is more than 60 percent then i think that's the best way to make profit in forex market and that's the reason why i'm trying to allow you focus on the entry right now wait for the rsi to go below the oversold area then allow it to go up again above the oversold area and that is when you enter for your buy yeah let's check another example let's check another example okay this is another example here see wait for price to come below here then wait for price to go above it here uh, above it here then you enter for your buy here so let's try to look for another example i think price came down yeah then went back immediately it went back immediately here mm on the same candle there uh let's let me do for another example we are still doing overbought oversold sorry oversold area i take this another example price came down here then price went back up here it went back up here then you enter for your buy trade now let's do an overbought level two see allow price to go above the 70 that is the overbought area allow price to go above it then allow price to close below it don't enter for trade immediately allow price to close below it and you enter for your trade see you enter for your trade let's look for another example this is another sample here allow price to go above it allow price to come below it here yeah. below it here yeah. then you enter for your sell trade now the best way to make consistent profit the best way to make consistent profit in the forex market is always try to do your back, back test either paper back test trying to check everything manually or you do an automatic back test using an ea now how do you exit out of this uh type of strategy instead of using your take profit or your stop loss i like using another method of uh take profit and stop loss now anytime you want to do, take your profit or your stop loss choose uh, exit in terms of 
dollar value. So let's assume you are using 0.1 lot size and you want to uh, exit out of the market or let's assume you are using uh, 0.4 lot size and you want to exit out of the market. You can say once I see minus $20 on my account, that's when I want to get out or when, once I see like $100 value, that is when I want to get out. So I like using that type of strategy instead of using my take profit or stop loss because uh, nobody, is, nobody is perfect or nobody's 100% when it comes to take profit or stop loss but I think that is the better way to use that kind of strategy with the exit and the uh, and the entry uh, and the entry type of that's the best way to get out of the market and if you think you want to use your stop loss and your take profit always al al always make sure your stop loss is like uh, your stop loss is less than your take profit this is what I'm trying to say if your take profit is 200 pips make sure your stop loss is like 100 pips or 50 pips 50 pips so that if you are wrong five times and you are right like three times you are still going to be in money and now let's assume you want to turn this you want to turn this into an automated trading system you want me to turn this strategy into an automated trading system i can do that for you just go to forest dominance and click on robot creation and once, once you click on robot creation, you'll see automate your trading strategy so you can spend less time in front of your PC. So I can turn this idea, I can turn it into an automated trading system for you. So fill in your name, your last name here, your email, then tell me your requirements. You can just choose the link of this strategy. If you want to see more strategies, click on this strategy bank here. You'll see a lot of strategies. So you can just pick the link there, then paste it here. Then if you have any file upload you want to upload, just go to wintransfer.com, upload it there, then paste the link here. Then tell me your budget, how much you can afford. So I don't want to force anything on anyone. Tell me how much you can afford and if it works with me, then I can, I can code it for you since you also want to become a profitable trader like me. So if you have any questions, you can also try to always contact me and I'll be always here for you to help you. Yeah.